Thank you, Miriam. Um, what an honor for me to be here tonight. As a teenager, I remember I was being glued to TV watching Christiana Manpour and thinking I want to be a journalist like her. Um, well, be careful of what you wish for. <laughs> being a journalist in Yemen has always been like walking through a minefield in a media landscape dominated by partisanship. A deadly path with many forms of oppression awaited independent journalists. But when Yemen's 2011 uprising happened, we dared to imagine a free press. But as the country underwent a violent power struggle between old and new powers, the one thing that they agreed on was to make life hell for all independent journalists. My story might sound dreadful, but it's nothing comparing to what my colleagues suffer in the war in Yemen. Intimidation, displacement, forced disappearance, detention, torture, persecution, and even being used as human shields at military checkpoints, being killed in airstrikes or on the battlefield, and even getting assassinated. What's happening to Yemeni journalists gives a glimpse into a suffering a society suffers as a whole. Death has become the norm in every household in Yemen, and yet the blockade imposed on Yemen by all worrying sides has also prevented Yemeni's stories from reaching the world. And for that, I want to thank all imprisoned Yemeni journalists who refuse to be part of a propaganda system. I want to pay tribute to international journalists who are determined to put Yemen in the news agenda despite all the obstacles. And I want to thank my editors without whose interest in publishing the work of a freelance journalist I wouldn't have been widely read. And I want to thank my second home, Sweden, which opened its doors when I had no shelter. And I want to thank my mother for her bottomless support. And I want to thank CPJ for demonstrating for all Yemenis that their stories matter too. For me, being here tonight is not to represent Yemeni journalists only, but all Yemenis who feel abandoned by world leaders and international media that are not covering their suffering sufficiently. And I think let's make this ceremony a turning point. Let's call for world leaders not to watch with apathy as atrocities are committed in Yemen. Let's use the power of the media in solidarity with the weak. Let's make sure international media are on the right side of history. Thank you.